went into the studio, everybody's schedule was different. We went in for two days and we basically learned the record in the studio. And sometimes that works great and sometimes it doesn't, but this time it worked really well. We've been on the road a bunch of times and we have a, we have a good chemistry and um, so we would, I basically pull out a new chart, we would learn it, run it a few times and then record it. You get these kind of first looks, these intuitive, instinctual responses to the piece that don't have time to um, kind of be second guessed. I always felt like the main voice of the cello was the bowed voice. And, and uh, writing for Bone Bridge and Nighthawks has caused me to reevaluate that. A really powerful, interesting, improvising voice for the cello is this plucking. What I'm after is kind of a music that is expressive and creates the feeling that I'm after, but also has a certain smartness about it that if you listen on repeatedly you can hear there's subtle complexities there. In terms of leading the band, I'm uh, my primary goal is to get the music across, the music rules, and so I want to balance everybody's personal contribution with what, what, what's important for the piece. So the two have to coexist. It's very easy with this group. They, I mean, they already have their judgment, and so I, I have a lot of trust in them. 